just getting set to, to go out on another run today and uh, it rained last night here and now this morning it's starting to snow again so it just never seems to uh, to really want to stop it's always continuous it's uh, an old-time winter I don't think we're used to it anymore but uh, oh well going trapping that's all it's about that's all it's about just to give you an idea cleaning off the snow again and uh, you can see the house I'm gonna have to probably knock some uh, snow off the roof pretty soon because it's getting uh, pretty thick out there it was uh, like plus uh, three yesterday and it's already minus 13 today and it's only nine o'clock Over the bank and stuck right away. It's gonna be one of those days today. Fish are cracked all around the box, but uh, they didn't go into the set. Had a big rain last night, rain for like two hours. Hard crust today. Need to bring my snowshoes. See, there's the fisher tracks, he's all around my set here. He'll be back.
Watch what happens when you're running on a crust on the lake. You can see my skis wobbling, and all of a sudden I flip. Nothing hurt but my pride. Feature there. <laughs> Running around all day and uh, finally got him in the set there.
always use the trap setter. It's so much easier. Not that I can't do it, it's just that it's so much easier to be able to do it like this. Nice fisher. Nice and I'll be able to skin it tonight as soon as I get home. And like I was saying, it's always good to have with you a pack sack to put your catch in. I always think it's important to stop at each set, knock all the snow off and re-lure. It's important to make sure your sets, you, to check each one so that your sets have bait, lure and no snow on them. You never know when the opportunity and you don't want to miss an opportunity when an animal comes by and your set's buried in snow. If you remember on my Martin uh, box set and video where I made the boxes and I set them and showed you how to set them, this was exactly the box that I had set. And you can see how quickly it pays off. That's six days ago, I guess, and uh, now we have a Martin already. A nice double body catch. Pretty impressed with the fact that we just set this box six days ago and now we caught a martin shows you the importance of the details like the running pole and call lure on this set i had used uh, fergus uh, traps mp number five martin fisher lure worked out like a like a charm Camera's getting cold, starting to die out. But uh, anyways, that's uh, my last set. So Martin and the Fisher today. Pretty stoked. Always a good day when you, when you make a catch. Better than my Timmons run. <laughs> As you see how the trees are all glazed, and there's a real hard crust now. You can hear it when we walk, it's crunch, crunch, crunch. Well, it's very difficult now for the deer. The snow's deep and now there's a crust, so now they're gonna bruise up their forearms and their and their legs walk, trying to walk in the, uh, in the snow. So uh, too much snow is not a good thing. And uh, the ice, you know, all their food now has uh, is covered in ice. Some places worse than other. So it makes it very difficult for them. I'm not an advocate of uh, feeding deer but in rough years like this I think it's kind of necessary we uh, picked up two bags of feed yesterday so we'll start feeding them at the house again and when we get a few deer around I'll, I'll take show you some pictures but normally I would not support feeding deer but in a year like this because there's so much snow and now that we have a hard crust it'll really favor the wolves there they'll really kill a lot of deer if we don't try to help them out a little bit so by breaking trails by feeding them a little bit it really kind of helps them out and it's just to give them a boost for until the snow uh, gets uh, down a bit then they can get around again and get away from the from the wolves and the coyotes that are going to hunt them now but that's nature sometimes it favors the deer and sometimes it favors the wolves 
Right now the balance has shifted over to the wolves because now they can run on top of the crust and the deer are going to be floundering in the snow and they're going to have a hard time getting food so they're going to get weaker.